<laughs> oh, I just drooled on myself. Hold on. That's also very natural. <laughs> you know, when you're an uh, infant growing up or a toddler, I guess the you have um, you wear a diaper and you use the diaper and it gets stinky. I mean, it's stinky, stinky diaper, yes. We're all, we all know this is what happens when you go through a phase and then you're done with the stinky diaper phase. But my, uh, my brother actually wrote this song for my nephew, Zach, who used to scream and cry when he had a stinky diaper. And so instead of just screaming and crying, we thought we were trying to get him to sing this song when he had a stinky diaper. And it worked. He started singing the song, but he was still screaming and crying, but he doesn't have a stinky diaper anymore. Really? Do you want to make a comment about stinky diaper, or are you here to sing? I'm here to make a comment about something else. Yes. To make a comment about something else? Yes. Okay. Do you need the microphone, sir? All right, try to keep it relevant to stinky diapers, because that's the subject we're on right now. Well, no, since you just talked about Nick's little brother, yes. Pete, he's my dad's best friend. That's what you want to say? Do you want to talk about Pete or stinky diapers or anything? No! Because at one time, that man had a very stinky diaper. Thank you for taking the microphone away, sir. If you know it, I want you to sing I got a stinky dabber, that's what I'm talking about. I got a stinky dabber, you better change it now. I got a stinky dabber, stinky on my pants, you better change it now, better change it fast. Got a stinky dabber, there's nothing I can do. I've got a stinky dabber, so I'm depending on you. Thank you. 